Hey guys, uh, I am here with an amazing friend and colleague of mine, an actual expert in coconut oil, and I just wanted to jump in and ask her uh, a little bit about, we've been seeing the headlines with coconut oil being as bad as is now a poison and people are now afraid of coconut oil. I wanted to get your opinion. You're the expert, so what are your thoughts on that and, and kind of what do, what do you think about that? Well, you know, I think that they are not talking to the real experts, uh, the media, you know, when they are trying to find out about coconut oil. So, um, you know, they always talk about it's, uh, for example, this latest uh, thing in the media that it's pure poison. That is, you know, um, ridiculous. Uh, they say that because it's high in saturated fat. Well, that's very true. But what they fail to recognize is that 70% of the saturated fat in coconut oil are medium chain triglycerides. These are very special fats. They're not found in the everyday oils that we have here in the, in the United States, like uh, soybean oil, corn oil, um, olive oil. Uh, these are, are very special and unique fats. Uh, part of them are converted to ketones in your liver. The rest is burned directly as energy. They're not stored as fat. And um, that really can't be said for uh, the other oils, you know, the typical oils that we have in our diet. So coconut oil is very unique in that way. And um, there are, you know, other health benefits. Uh, the lauric acid, which is half of coconut oil, is a medium chain triglyceride, again, not found in oils like soybean and olive. And it, for example, has antimicrobial properties. It kills viruses, um, pathogenic bacteria, uh, protozoa, certain fungus. Um, it's used in the medical industry, it's used in um, animal industry uh, to help control infections and prevent infections, and um, it's used in many skin uh, products, cosmetics, uh, that type of thing, um, but you know, it has its own very unique properties and it's half of coconut oil. Um, the ex so-called experts, they say that they have never come across information about the benefits of coconut oil. Um, the fact is they haven't really looked very hard for that because exactly. there are hundreds of articles um, about you know the benefits of lauric acid and other components of coconut oil and of coconut oil itself. So um, you know they really need to be trying much harder <laughs> to learn about coconut oil before they come off as experts. Right, and and isn't there data now? We talked a little bit about it with C12. Uh, actually having some benefits for producing ketones in the brain? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so this is lauric acid again, is C12, half of coconut oil. And there is um, a group in Japan that did a study uh, trying to uh, understand why uh, people who take coconut oil, why some of them experience some cognitive benefit from this. Uh, the levels of ketones produced from it are not very high when you just measure in the blood. But what they found is that when they took cultures of astrocytes, so these are specialized brain cells, and one of their functions is to nourish other brain cells, um, the specialized neurons and that type of thing. Um, so when they did cultures of astrocytes and uh, put lauric acid in the culture, it potently and directly stimulated production of ketones directly in these astrocytes. And again, these are cells that nourish other brain cells. So uh, this needs to still be proved that this happens directly in a living being, but um, it's highly suggestive that that is what happened, and that could explain some of the cognitive benefits that we see from taking coconut oil. Right, and that's it's extremely promising because a lot of people talk about MCT oil, and it's great, and there's a ton of benefits. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they write off coconut oil because they're like, well, there's a lot, there's a lot more MCTs and just regular MCT mm -hmm. oil, mm -hmm. and but lauric acid seems to be unique, and right. I think. If people haven't already, they need to check out your TED Talk and your book because mm -hmm. uh, you talk all about uh, your experience and your story with your husband. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an incredible – everyone that I talk to and ever mention coconut oil, you're the first name that pops up. Mm -hmm. Like literally the, the expert because what you did really set the pace for – the rest of the world of understanding really the power mm -hmm. of not only coconut oil MCTs but really ketones before ketones were ever even really known and so mm -hmm. in close can you give people a little bit uh, a little insight and you work with you get tons of emails mm -hmm. and messages mm -hmm. from people 
that are utilizing coconut oil. They might not have access to exogenous ketones or they're not on a ketogenic diet or even have MCTs, but people that are actually utilizing coconut oil, a little bit about your experience and, and kind of what you saw even with your own self and what you're mm -hmm. seeing with other people utilizing coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, for my husband it was very dramatic. He had um, early onset Alzheimer's disease and he was at a point where he was on the verge of severe Alzheimer's. And he had a dramatic turnaround uh, right away. Uh, there was testing he just happened to have the day before and the day after he started coconut oil and improved in that. But we saw him, um, his expression come back in his face, his personality return, his sense of humor. Um, he had physical symptoms, tremors and a stiff gait when he walked um, that all resolved. He had a visual disturbance that prevented him from reading. He, he would have, uh, the words would look like they were shaking on the page and that went away at three or four months and he was able to read again. And then um, around nine or 10 months, he was able to remember what he read several hours earlier. And before we started this, he could not even finish a sentence when he was talking, much less read and remember what he read. So it was quite a dramatic improvement over that year. And then um, as I started getting the message out, I started hearing back from other people. And um, I've collected, I kind of stopped counting after 400, but you know, collected um, 400 little testimonials, I guess you could say emails of people that uh, responded to taking coconut oil and mainly people with memory impairment, but also people with Parkinson's who had symptoms improve and people with multiple sclerosis and um, some children with autism and you know that these families reported to me that they saw improvement when they started using coconut oil and um, now I get to travel all around the world you know to give this message and wherever I go uh, people come up to me and they tell me oh my mother improved you know we're, we're so happy we're so happy we get to meet you because mm -hmm. my mother improved when uh, when she started doing this and you know so I hear you know, everywhere I go, um, you know, people that have had a good response to this, you know, coconut oil and the medium chain triglycerides, MCT oil that comes from coconut oil. Well, the world needs more Dr. Mary Newport. Oh. I, think, I think it really does. And so thank you for all of your instrumental work because I think it literally laid the ground for not only the ketogenic message, exogenous ketones and everything moving forward because you are a pioneer in this field mm. and you continue to help so many people mm. and I think it's amazing and unfortunately it's scary when headlines like this come out mm. because people take that and they, they, take yeah. it, they take it at face value and they're like, I'm never going to use coconut right. oil again so I just wanted to provide some clarity mm. for people. So thank you for, for doing that. Oh, really you're welcome. It. You're welcome.